What's up, everybody? It's AK, early in the morning, and we're back for another Biomes of Plenty Survival Let's Play thingy thingy. I'll have to come up with a shorter, better name for that. But anyways, here we are, and we are up at the top of my sacred tree house. Check it. We're actually close to the clouds. I just saw that cloud going by into the other tree. So here we are, and uh, I'm going to give you the, the view. I'll give you the tour. And um, basically, I've just been building some decks and things like that, having some fun with it. So uh, yeah, let me show you around. So I got this little deck, which lets me look over there. I did go over to my chest, and I did retrieve most of my stuff. Most of my stuff, the essential stuff. And I got this cool view going on over here, and that's basically up top. Let's go ahead and drop down. I'm trying to think if I did anything with this level. That's where my bed is. Hello, bed. It is surprisingly lacking in decoration, as you can see, but we will get to that. That's actually the subject of today's episode. Oh, by the way, one thing which I did not miss, but you might not be familiar with because it's a Biomes of Plenty thing. See that over there? Can you see those trees? Those trees are in a cherry blossom forest biome. Yeah, I've seen those before. We might make it over there. In today's episode, eh, we might not. We'll just have to see. Oh, hello. Hmm. And then we got this level here. Again, I haven't done anything with that. I'm sorry. I showed you that one last time. This side, though. Oh, hello. Hey. Hey. This side, though. Oh, yeah, I haven't done anything with that. I did make it. I wanted to see from the off the other side. So I have come all the way over here. We'll be heading down that way in just a minute. And then our main floor, I kind of expanded this just a little bit. I just cleaned it up. This is sort of a gutter um, in case I fall. <laughs> I don't want to fall. That would really, really suck because um, I'm up high and then some. So let me show you over here. I basically just, you know, some janky little lantern type thingies. Um, again, I made a little bit of a border there in case I fall. Uh, there's a slightly better look at the cherry blossom forest. Then over here is where I made my main patio. Let me make, before we go there, because we're going to go there and then we're going to take off. I just want to make sure I have everything I need. I have arrows, as many as I can make right now. I need to get feathers. I've got some shears. I've got all the essential tools. I've got food. I've got torches. We're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. So um, just a little shelf thing there. But down here is kind of my main deck, which is kind of cool. I can look off into multiple directions and I can see, you know, what all is going down. So there it is. All right, let's go. So what we're doing today, um, this always makes me nervous. There we go. Okay. So what we're doing today is we are going in search of chickens. That guy's a little far away though. Chickens and sheep because I need wool to do some decorating and I need feathers to do some arrow some fletching AK needs some arrows otherwise my bow is not gonna do a whole lot of good oh what up what up feathers I think I'm just gonna start calling chickens feathers from now on because that's really what I want them for oh there's a burning zombie and a whole oh man a whole lot of cows and a whole bunch of feathers mm-hmm yep Okay, another one. Hey, hey, hey. Okay. I was like, is he a ghost or something? Thought maybe it was a ghost chicken. Let's take another one. Okay, that's probably good. Um, I should probably be breeding them as much as I'm... It's one thing I like about being nomadic is you don't have to worry about breeding. Um, oh, getting some lag. Sorry about that, folks. I guess I'm loading chunks. Better than blowing chunks. All right. Hmm, that might make some for some fun exploration one of these days. So there's some cherry blossom forest. Uh, if I saw sheep over there, I would go over that way. But since I don't, I'm not going to at the moment. I kind of want to head over towards. Yeah. Mm-hmm. 
I kind of want to head over towards uh, where I saw all those, um, you know, the big lava fall thingy. Where am I? Hmm. Let's get up a little bit so I can see where I'm at. Cherry Blossom Forest. That's the one I just saw. That's, is that home tree, baby? Is that my house? I'm getting all confused. Around. Oh, I know. I went kind of the wrong way. Okay. So... Over there's the lava fall. That's what I'm going for. I figure I might as well pick up these eggs since they're like everywhere. Yep. So we're going to go over here and we're going to check out this waterfall action, lava fall action. Actually, there's both. And uh, then we're going to head off and see if we can find some sheep because I really need some wool. Oh, look at that. You can see my, you can see my area up there. That's so cool. They even get a little closer as I look into the corner. Oh, yes. That is sweet. Did you see that little parkour? Yeah, I saw that little parkour. Mo chickens. There's a sheep, but dude, he is up there. That's kind of ridiculous to go for him. Do I see any other sheep? Let's head over to the cherry blossom forest, and uh, we shall see if we find any sheep over there. Because I don't think there's going to be too many sheep up here in these uh, mountain lands. Speaking of, I don't have my F3 on. I was curious what kind of biome I'm in. I'm still in Sacred Springs. Okay, cool. Um, I think I have a big enough screen, good enough resolution where I can leave the F3 on and not mess you all up. <laughs> oh, there's those cool flowers. P oh, pink daffodil. You know what? I think I might see if I can get this. Oop, did I get it? Yes, pink daffodils, because those would be pretty in a little flower pot back at my house. Those would be super pretty. So would some of those blue, uh, blue flowers. I may have to go for those. Oh, little ouch, but that's okay. Oh, you know what? I need to eat. Sorry, I forgot steak was on my hot bar. Speaking of steak, I see some. Oh, here's some more flowers. What are these? Peonies. How pretty. I want to decorate up the house, you know? If I'm going through the trouble to make a house, I'm decorating the house. Blue orchid. Hello. Those are pretty. And then we're going to head over into the cherry blossom forest. We're still on the lookout for some sheep, which I'm not seeing any. Man, I'm getting a lot of lag. I don't know what's up with that. I don't know why I'd be getting so much lag. Hmm. Just thinking maybe I'll disappear for a second and go see if I can find out what the source of the lag is. I guess maybe it's not too bad. It's bad enough though. It's bothering me. Okay. I see sugarcane. I want to go get on some of that. Oh, I see a black sheep. I don't really know the joke yet, but I know Nebris would want me to kill it. Cause I th oh, no, it's MC Gamer. MC Gamer kills every sheep the dude, every black sheep the dude finds, he kills. And I, I will admit, I don't know the joke. Um, but I'm going to find out. I'm going to actually replant a couple of these. So that way, if I come over here again, I'll have even more sugar cane. Sheeps. Sheeps, sheeps, sheeps. Okay. Let's get my shears. And let's do some sheep shearing. Oh, sorry. I always hit the... I think to myself, is it the left button or is it the right button? Let me try the left one. And then it goes whack. And I'm like, oh, sorry, son. Cool, that'll be some nice wool. So check this out. White cherry leaves. And you know what? I'm even going to grab some of them while I have my shears in my hand. So cool, huh? And these are white cherry leaves. Up here we have the pink cherry leaves, which I will get up to. Oh, and another uh, doohickey flower. <laughs> yeah, my, uh, my knowledge is astounding, isn't it? Pink daffodil, thank you. Pink daffodil. Just realized that. Uh, see? Pink cherry leaves. 
We'll go down and get those. And this is cherry wood, which is totally sweet. And if it, I couldn't see it from my house, which I can, if I couldn't see it from my house, I'd cut that tree down and uh, take the wood and go do stuff with it. But we're going to cut down a tree that I can't see from my house. Like maybe, yeah, like maybe this one. Or this one. I don't really need that much cherry wood. So, let's grab a little bit. And I honestly can't remember if it makes uh Jupe, I knew that the shears were about to die. Ooh, I got a, even got a cherry tree sapling. Oh, oh, dude. There are a few things in Minecraft, I think, that make you feel as powerful as a good pair of shears. I just realized my... Uh, I'm going to cut this out, but I need to change my... S there we goes. Okay. Let's pick those up. And now we are... Oh, I hear... Well, it's those sheep that I found. And see, now I'm kind of out in the boonies in the dark, which I'm not really a fan of doing that because it's not very smart. But let's go see what we got. Pink cherry, white cherry... Some more sugar cane. Let's go get that. And if I get attacked by 50,000 mobs, I'll, I'll run away. Ooh, another blossom. Yeah, let's go around this way. Because uh, I was just thinking, oh, I should make a boat and get in the water and run. But um, you know what? I'm only on normal mode. It's not like I'm on hard mode. I could probably handle a couple mobs if I find them. What are those? Clover. That's pretty. Stuff is going to start spawning, though, any second. I'm probably about to get whacked by an arrow from a skelly I don't even see. In which, and, but if I do, I'll, I'll fight him. I think that's my house up there with all that light. Yeah. Bloosh. Let's head back over to the house. So uh, you don't need to watch this. I'm going to head back over to the house. I think I have enough wool now. And um, I'll meet you up in the house. Okay, welcome back to the house, folks. You can see the moon just disappearing down beneath me. And we are back in the house. I have basically made a couple of picture frames and some flower pots and stuff. So let's decorate. And um, I just thought, you know, you might want to see this. I don't know. If it starts being ridiculous and taking forever, no. No. Yeah. I'm wanting to get one of those four spots, you know? There we go. I'll take it. That's cool. And let's put a... Let's, let's see. How many... I have six flower pots, so let's put one here for sure. Um, let's. I'm going to try putting one right here in the corner. And then let's get... Let's see. I've got the... This would be a good room for the peonies, I do believe, because the peonies are pretty big. Oh, can I not... Maybe I can't plant the peonies in a flower pot. That's unfortunate. Okay, well, let's try. Hey, that's kind of pretty. Okay. Um, I definitely need something in the bedroom, you know, like where my little bed is. I guess you call it a bedroom. It seems so, sounds so personal, you know, like, oh, my, this is my, oh dude, this is my, are you sure you can come in here? This is my bedroom, man. No, this is just cool. So what we're going to do is we are going to put... Um, some of these white cherry leaves. I have an idea. White cherry, flower pot. Oh, I can't put a flower pot on those. That's too bad. Well, in that case, let's take some of this cherry wood. I just want to see how this looks, folks. I, no guarantees, you know, no guarantees yet. Flower pot, and then pink daffodil and let's see how that goes what what are you are you getting me maybe this needs to uh, maybe that needs to be down maybe it's too big of a plant are you serious dude see that's the thing man 
I'll admit, I'm not much of a decorator yet. Oh, but that fits. That works. Let's get rid of that one too. Ah, that's my bed's looking a little cramped. Yes, it is. Let's go ahead and take that out. And um, but you know that all that. Yeah, let's see. Let's take those. Uh, pink, white, white, pink. Man, what? I'm a man. I like white cherry leaves. No, it's pink stuff. Pink's for girls. No, I'm just kidding. I just think they look cool. I think they look totally cool. Oh, yeah, and I wanted to put a picture. I want to put a picture here, too. Yeah. Yeah, see, that's cool. Let's go back here and look. See? Isn't that cool? That's so homey. Look at that. That's so nice. That's so nice. Okay, now let's put a... Where else should we go? Let's go up to the roof here. I wouldn't mind putting a flower pot with some stuff over here. I, I really like the look of that uh, cherry leaf and everything. So, but I wish I could put flower pot on it. And it looks like the only flowers that I can put into the pots are these, huh? The blue orchid. But that's nice because it's like, you know, this is kind of a place where you stand. You have your bulletproof coffee. You have your orchid. You look out over the... Whoa. Oh, I guess I stood up on the flower pot. All of a sudden, I dropped down. I was like, oh, God, I'm going to die. I do want to go see those floating islands at some point. I guess, let's we'll see, where did I go earlier? I went that way. Oh, and then I must have come down there. Yeah, I must have went, come down. No. I, did I even go near that stuff? I know I did, because I came back that way. Dude, I thought I was going to be... Oh, you know what? I ran around the back of where the lava fall goes. See, I was right down there, and right over there is where I cut down the cherry tree. I admit it. I did it. Yeah, I must have come around the back of that. Bummer. I kind of wanted to go around. I did to see the front when I was going through the water, but anyways, I do want to go check out those floating islands at some point. Uh, anything else I can decorate with up here? Not if I can't put those in the... Yeah, not if I can't put those in the thing. Well, let's do... Um... Let's do another block of this cherry wood, and this time we'll do some of the pink cherry leaves. And let's see what happens if we put those here and like that. Does that look just weird, or is that cool? It's a little big, but uh, I like it. I'm digging it. I'm sticking with it. Oh, you know what, though? It is kind of in the way. I think a more perfect spot might be right over here yeah 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 right there because otherwise you know like what am i going to do there so we'll put that there and then we'll put those leaves again like that that way when you're over here it's like oh it's pretty yeah cool okay let's do that like i said folks i know i'm not that much of a decorator but I just thought, you know, let's let's have a little fun. This could be cool. Let's put a set right there and a set right. How about a set right there? Yeah, why not? I got the things. What else am I gonna do with them? Um, did I do anything over here? This no, that's just that little alcove room. Mm -hmm. And the other one's the bedroom. Oh, I got this back patio. Let's uh, let's get some up over, going over here, like that gap right there. What good is this gap? Yeah. See, this place is getting all kinds of color. It's really cool. I like it. We're going to do that, and then I'm going to take one of those white ones. I'm going to put it on top. Ooh, cool. White one. Or, yeah, white one. Okay. Hey. Now, the other pictures... I was like, hey, I got one there. I got one up top. And I think that's all I made. That's all I made for now, but that's fine. That's plenty of artwork. Although that wall is kind of begging for a photo, don't you think? An item frame? Yeah, did I put away the wool? I put away the wool. Let's just do this real quick. Won't take much time. I promise. That way, in case you're one of those people who's like, I've never made a painting before. Well, guess what? Now you know how. So I could go there, I could go here. I want to go here and try for a three spot. This could take a while though. And if it, especially when the 
item frames paintings jump around uh-huh ooh a wither <laughs> let's not do that one there uh see i'm not into skull art you know what i'm saying some people are like dude i got a skull tattoo why because it reminds me of death and how we're all gonna die one day and it, it makes me oh not yeah like i want spiders in my house on purpose yeah, I like the death thing, man, because it reminds me that we're all going to die someday, and so I make the most out of every moment. Dude, trust me, I know we're all going to die someday, too. That doesn't mean every time I look down at my arm, I want to go, oh, dang, and see a big old skeleton that freaks me out. I don't think so. Dude, did I pick that thing up? Where'd it go? Did it fall? All it fell all the way down there. Someone's feeling a little rambunctious. Okay, I'm not really getting a three by three. I'm also not doing a wither. Something pretty. That's pretty, but I want a two by two at least. Uh, there are other two by twos than the wither, my friends. Speaking of which, if you're totally into aesthetics and painting and, and things like that, um, I do highly recommend, I'm not using it, obviously, um, but I do, oh man, highly recommend the Sortex Fanver. What's with the skulls? The Sortex. That's so weird that it goes one direction and then another. Except for when it works out in your favor. So, Sortex Fanver, it's a... Whoa, dude. That's a skull, but that's huge, and I like it. What is that, anyways? It's like a skull in a boat? A skull in a hand? I have absolutely no idea. It's like a little baby skeleton in a wooden shoe. Not a clue, my friends. Not a clue. But it's so big and so obnoxious, I'm totally going to stick with it. Alrighty. So, a um, little more decoration. Yeah, a little more decoration. Let's do one here. I don't want to obstruct the view too much, you know. Nope. There we go. And... Let's do another one of those, because I like the way those look. They're actually pretty cool. Um, I know that's going to obstruct the view just a, a touch, but I mean, if I'm not going to be okay with that, then someone's got issues, and that someone is me. So I think that's good. I think that's cool. It adds a little bit of flair without being too overdone, you know? And uh, yeah, I think we're looking pretty good. Let's take another quick run through, see if there's some other place I might want to put some splashes of color out here doesn't have much it's got kind of that one lone feather thing one lone uh, flower so let's lay down um you know what let's lay down another one right here Mm-hmm. looking good yep yeah, looking good looking good actually i'm gonna make that a two too wide oh didn't get the direction on that one quite right. There we go. Boom. Yeah. Yeah, now we're talking. Look at this. There's art everywhere. I look, you know, totally cultured. It's it's amazing. I've got a couple out here. I have quite a few out here for some extra color, which is very nice. Can't have too much color in your life is what I'm always saying. One of my, when I was in college, and that was back in the day, let me tell you, there was a very popular shirt going around campus, and I used to love wearing it. It said, love sees no color. And I always loved that, because it don't, man. It don't. People get all froggy about so many things. They're like, well, this person's not my religion. Oh, this, well, I mean, that's belief systems. You kind of want someone who's compatible with belief systems. But, you know, people are like, this person does not believe what I believe. This person does not, you know, call the thing I worship by the same name that I worship it, you know, or whatever. Or just like, you know, this person doesn't like chicken, so I'm not into them. And I'm like, you know what? There's a lot of things that you need to worry about in your life. And uh, someone's, we'll just say orientation, for lack of a better word, is not one of them. No matter who you are, no matter what orientation we're talking about, everyone just needs to chill and love a little more. That's what I'm saying. So that's my message for today, people. Love a little bit more. I've decorated the house and uh, ventured around quite a bit. 
And um, I think the place is looking pretty good. I think it's looking pretty good. So um, hope you enjoyed. And uh, a like and subscribe is always, you know, the mark of a very cool person. And I believe in you. So rock on. And uh, I'll see you in the next episode. Cheers. Thank you.